Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm going to show you how to create innovative powder to foam cleansing products. A powder to foam cleansing product is simply one that is a powder in the jar and then when a small amount is applied and water is added it turns into a foaming cleansing product. Now as consumer trends head towards waterless products this is a fantastic solution to create. It's also very simple. You do need the right materials though. So you will need some sodium cocal glycinate for this particular formula as well as sodium lauryl glutamate both in powder form. I obtained these samples from my good friends at Ajinomoto. Then it's relatively simple to put together. Now in bulk manufacture you are going to need a ribbon blender or similar type of machinery to blend these powders together. In the lab I'm using very similar equipment that helps us achieve this ribbon blending purpose but of course when you are creating larger batches you do need to make sure you use appropriate blending equipment to blend the powders and also stop excess dust from entering the work atmosphere. So what I've got here as a start is just some straight mica and the mica and the tapioca that I use in this formula just help give the product a beautiful slip over the skin. So to this we are going to add the sodium cocal glycinate and the sodium lauryl glutamate. We use a combination of surfactants so we can get the right blend of foamability, cleansing and mildness on application. And to this I'm going to add some xanthan gum and tapioca all in dry form. The tapioca of course gives a beautiful slip on the skin when applied and the xanthan gum enables the product to come together in a semi gel when water is applied so that product doesn't just wash straight off the skin but instead has a lovely conditioning feel to the skin and helps it stay on the skin while it's being massaged as part of the cleansing action. Now you need to give it a good stir and this is where you'd need a ribbon blender in the workplace. And that's all there is to it. So now let's get creative. What else could we add to this formulation to make it a bit more exciting and different from everything else? Let's add some walnut powder for an exfoliant action. Now let's go for extreme visual effects and pore cleansing with some charcoal powder. So there you have it, that's all there is to it. Powder to foam cleansing powder. Now remember this is going to need special mixing equipment, your ribbon blender and special filling equipment, your auger filler. You'll also need those special materials I introduced you to and again I've used that specific combination to give a nice clean but keep it really mild and soft feeling on the skin. Keeping up with consumer trends is important and this is a waterless formulation to help you do that. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation on creating powder to foams. Happy formulating!